Hey guys, I thought we'd do some empties. It has been, I think this is the month of the super size empties because I have really big products to show you, but let me go right into it. Um, Amazing Grace, this is Philosophy's Amazing Grace. If you haven't smelled it before, you need to, especially if you don't have any perfumes that you like. Um, I know a lot of people that don't like perfume, period. It aggravates them. They don't like the scent, all of that kind of thing. They still like Amazing Grace. It's such a nice scent. This is the 32-ounce shampoo, bath, and shower gel. I got as part of a set from QVC uh, last summer, and it's fantastic. Uh, I have the perfume. You got a 4-ounce perfume, a whipped body cream. It was good stuff. I love that. Oh, I have a couple other little minis from Philosophy. This is uh, Cinnamon Buns. This smells just like Cinnamon Buns. Very, very nice in the shower in the morning. Uh, then pink frosted animal cracker. That's a great one as well. I took this on vacation. Oh, smells so, so, so good. These little minis, they had buy two, get one free, I think, at Nordstrom, and I picked a few up. Okay, the first mascara. I have a few, of course. Uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I didn't like this. Uh, I reviewed it in the chopping block. It wasn't a good mascara for me. I'll show you the wand. It's just one of those mascaras where it just didn't work for me. It really, really clumped my lashes up. I know people like it, but it's not a favorite of mine and I wouldn't purchase it again. That's the wand. There's really nothing wrong with the wand. It's just the formula is really, really clumpy. You know, the kind of formula where after one stroke through, you know, you got two and three lashes, you know, that are um, clumped together and they don't want to separate. Yeah, that's what happened with this. So definitely not the mascara for me. I know people like it though. Uh, what's up next? Oh, Oat Fix. Is it Odie Fix? There's an I in the middle of there. Gosh, am I just learning how to say it? This is from Lush. It's a fresh face mask. And um, I wanted to try this because, uh, you know, it's winter now. And hopefully it'll be spring soon. Spring's coming, right? A couple days. But this mask uh, really helped my skin uh, because it was so, so dry. I have an oily T-zone, but the rest of my face is dry. Cheeks down, dry. Um, and, you know, especially around my mouth. And it was just getting so horrible. I could layer two layers of moisturizer, um, and it still wouldn't help me. So uh, I needed something to help. It's a blend of bananas, vanilla, ground almonds, and oats. And it just really um, normalized my skin, really kind of got it back into being, you know, very full of moisture so I didn't need to layer up, um, you know, moisturizer after, every time I wash my face or after I wash my makeup off. Uh, they only last, those fresh face masks, about three weeks. So I probably use it twice the first week and once every week afterward. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you get the value out of it. You, you definitely have to use it consistently within a short period of time to get the value out of it. Definitely. I would say. All right. I am a Wen head. I don't know if you knew that. I love Wen. Chaz Dean is amazing. Um, the good thing about Wen is, is I like it with my natural hair, uh, my natural relaxed hair, and I like it with somebody else's hair. It works just as well. Um, I used up a, uh, what is this? A 16 ounce of 613, which is his really, really good condition conditioning treatment. Um, it's a, you, something that you can use. Uh, I prefer to mix it in with whatever cleansing conditioner I'm using. I have a wind bar in my shower. I think I put a picture of that up uh, on Instagram a long time ago, but I definitely have a wind bar. I have like five different things up there and I would mix like two pumps of this in my last uh, rinse with wind. And um, it's really, really good. It's protein packed. So, you know, it, it says on here, it's a blend of 11 amino acids to help restore strength and elasticity to even the most damaged damaged hair. So I do a lot of bad things to my hair, relaxing, that kind of a thing. And this just really helps it come right back. So I love this stuff. I just got my new, um, his new spring scent, which is a spring orange blossom. I just got it like three days ago. I can't wait to use it. It smells so good. All right. This is a big hit. Uh, was a big hit for me. I think I have a blog post review. I'll link it below. Hand food. This is my Soap and Glory. I picked this up at Sephora. Uh, this is the smaller size. I went through a period where I was testing out hand lotions because I really wanted to find a good one. And this was definitely at the top of the pack. Um, this is just the 1.69 fluid ounce size. This is great. I kept this in my car. Of course it went fast because there's not a lot of it in there, but this is the best smelling stuff hand cream that I got out of all the ones I tested. I tested ones from Bath and Body Works. Uh, there's an OPI one. Did I read the post on that? I'm not sure yet, but I, I think I have to. Um, but yeah, this is the best one. This was five bucks. The larger size is going to be $12, I think, 
at Sephora, but I'm definitely buying it because I love it. And it's a big hit with my mama. I had it in the car and every time she got in my car, she was like, where's that lotion? So she really liked it as well. I used up a lip butter. Um, this is Revlon's Raspberry Pie Lip Butter and I love this. The first one I used up was a, the plum one. I forget, is it sugar plum or whatever? That plum one is amazing. I need to buy another one of that because that was my number one favorite. I always had it in my purse. But Raspberry Pie is really, really pretty. It broke off on me, but I'll show you the color just in case you haven't seen it. But this is really easy to pick up at any drugstore. It's a really, really nice color. Love Raspberry Pie. I, I think the next one that I'll use up is Lollipop. That's another favorite. All right, this mascara is fantabulous. It's one of my favorite kind of higher end. I guess it is considered higher end. I think it's like $19 or something like that. It's definitely more than 10 though. Uh, it's Lash Domination by Bare Minerals and one of my favorite mascaras ever. It's really, really good. I'll show you the one. Let me tell you why it's good. It's good because it volumizes. It is a volumizing mascara. But what is so good about this wand is it grabs your lashes right at the base and you pull it up and it just, all of a sudden you got three times as many lashes. That is a good thing. That is a very, very good thing. I remember the first time I used it, I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I had that many lashes. It just brings them out. I guess the like non-existent, don't count lashes, it brings them, it makes them count. It makes them count. So Lash Domination is a very, very big favorite. I would totally buy that. I have like two more upstairs. I definitely do. These were really cool. I, ha I don't know where I've been. I think these have been out for a while, but I never knew. They were, uh, and they come in a couple different brands. I just got the Harman's uh, Face Values version that I find at Bed Bath & Beyond. They are the manicure swabs. So basically, I should have saved one so you could see it. It's basically a Q-tip, but pointed. So it really makes it easy to get around your nail bed. Um, you know, if you make any mistakes painting your nails. I was playing a little nail art yesterday. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. There are 120 of these, two-sided, you know, just like Q-tips fantastic. This lasted a long time. I had it in my little manicure kit. This mascara I did not like. I really love Maybelline Colossal, the regular version. This is the smoky eyes version. This did nothing for me. Oh, it just basically tinted my lashes a little blacker. No more, no volume, no length, nothing. Oh, bad, bad stuff. Don't recommend this. I don't know if I see, I don't know if this is limited edition or whatever. I feel like I haven't seen it in the store. If it isn't a permanent product, that's a good thing. Uh, Nivea Soft uh, Moisturizing Cream. This is really good. I had this little container up on my vanity in my makeup room, and it's just a really good lotion. Very, very creamy, something I would just use to moisturize my hands. In the winter, my hands are so, so dry. This is just a little Deborah Lipman Cuticle Oil Mini. Um, I wanted to test, they had a, a whole set at uh, Nordstrom where you could test a bunch of De Deborah Lippman products, you know, the top coat, the base coat, Fast Girls base coat, which is, oh, I love that. I did a review of that on my blog. It's fantastic. It dries so fast. I love that base coat. This is the cuticle oil. It was purple and I think it froze a little bit in the bag. I had this in a corner and it was cold. But anyway, this is a really, really great uh, cuticle oil, purple. I wouldn't buy the full size because I found things that are really good cuticle oil that costs less. Um, I showed you one a couple weeks ago. Sally Hansen has a new cuticle oil in a tube and I carry that around in my purse and that's really, really good. And it's like, you know, $7. Um, next up is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, this is a clear brow gel. Really, really good stuff. Uh, this lasted a long time. I've had that since last summer, I think. It's just a little mini. I don't know how, where I got it, but it's a little mini and it's really, really cute. So, so cute. Kept my black brows exactly where I wanted them. Once I put it on, it would set, but it wasn't hard, crusty, you know? So it was good stuff. Um, Let the Good Times Roll. This is by Lush. It is a facial cleanser. And I really like this. This is, uh, they said, a seasonal popcorn inspired facial cleanser. Really, really good. I have a blog post on it. I'll, I'll put it down. Um, below. It's just a really good facial cleanser, perfect for this time of year. Not something I, I don't think I would use when it's hotter outside, but it was perfect fall winter for me. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Blush makes amazing stuff. Okay, and this you're used to seeing. That is the best bone ever. He's had it for a week. I've never had a bone last that long. It looks kind of like a pork chop bone, which is probably why he's so in love with it, but I got it from PetSmart. I've, I gotta remember next time I go so I can tell you what it is for you guys that have dogs because I've never had a bone. Usually like two days is the max for him in a bone, but this, it's been a week. 
amazing. And it was a really extensive bone and I wasn't gonna get it, but the guy at PetSmart was like, this, your, your dog goes through bones quick, this is gonna last. I'll, I'll find out what it is and let you guys know. Um, this is makeup remover, uh, cleansing towelettes. I tell you about this every month. It's my favorite brand. It's Neutrogena. I get these like at the local kind of Costco, which ours is BJ's. Uh, I stock up on them. They are so, so good. Um, I don't use a lot of makeup wipes. I use a lot of cleansing oil. In fact, I'm putting up a, a post on uh, the Garnier cleansing oil that I told you all about in the shopping block a couple months ago. Um, I use cleansing oil mostly, so I use very few makeup wipes, which is a good thing. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed telling you about all those products. I need to do a haul. I put a picture up on Instagram uh, yesterday. I have so many lip products. It's going to be a, basically a haul with all lip products, um, which should be a lot of fun. I love lip products and uh, definitely going to do that. And of course, coming up soon, favorites of the month and uh, some other things. So I will see you guys very soon. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, both of us, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.